Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nanta Senaman, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. So in this video, we're going to cover about how you can speed up the calculation of your machine learning model by just adding a couple of lines to your code. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start by firing up your R Studio. And today's code is available on the Data Professor GitHub. So go to the code repository and click on the DHFR folder. And then the code will be in DHFR parallel speed up. And you want to click on the raw link and then save link as. Right, and then save this into your computer to the designated position and then save. Click on the save button. Okay. And so let's open up this DHFR parallel speed up dot R. Okay, so let's start by loading in the data set package and then the carrot package and then loading the DHFR data set. Okay, so you will see that after running the data DHFR function, you will have a data set of 325 molecules and 229 variables, where one of the variable is the output, which is the Y, okay, the Y variable, and the value inside is either active or inactive. And there will be 228 input variables, which are molecular descriptor describing the molecule. So let's see if there's any missing value and there is nothing. And in order to have reproducible model, we will set the seed at 100 and control enter to run the line of code. Okay, and then we're gonna split the data to 80, 20 subsets where 80 will be the training set and 20% will be the testing set. Okay, and you will see that there are two objects being created, 261, which is the 80% subset, and 64 molecule is the 20% subset. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're going to use the random forest as the learning algorithm. So let's start by timing our code by using the proc.time function. And so we're gonna assign the resulting output into a variable called start.time, and then we're also going to time it again once the model building process is completed and then we're going to subtract the stop time from the start time in order to get the run time go ahead and highlight this code chunk and hit the control enter button okay and so it's going to ask whether i want to install random forest so just click on yes okay and it also wants some dependency package what it wants Okay, and now let's run the code again, control enter. Okay, so this is the bare minimum of building a model by using the train function from caret, where you specify that you want y to be the output variable that you will predict. And then you specify that data is the training set, the 80% subset. And then you specify that the method will be random forest and dot here is the input variables. So I'm currently running this calculation on a Lenovo ThinkPad T480, a very regular laptop. It has a Core i7, 8th generation. Okay, so it took approximately 80 seconds uh, in the elapsed column, which is the time difference between the start time and the stop time. Okay, so let me write down in a comment that time taken is 80.2. 30 seconds. So in the following block of code, we will use the do parallel library package in order to speed up our calculation. And the details of using this code is available on the GitHub of the carrot package. And so I modify the code taken from this URL. Okay, so we're going to load in the library do parallel. So if you don't have this library, you want to install it by install.packages and then the name do parallel, right? And then enter. But I already have it installed, so I can run this directly. Okay, so we're going to load in the library do parallel. 
then we're going to run these lines of code and then we're going to have to run the chunk of code here so you see that the calculation is complete and it took 29.71 seconds which is approximately two and a half times faster so time taken is 29.71 and let's see without the parallel it took 80.3 seconds so 80 point so we can even use r as a calculator so it's about 2.7 times faster using this parallel code okay so what happened if you want to do some hyperparameter tuning would this speed up your calculation Yes, of course it will. And so in this simple example, we're going to also use the random forest learning algorithm. And we're going to optimize the M try hyperparameter of the random forest by varying the M try from five to 15 in increments of five. So there will be a value of five, 10 and 15 that will be tried in the model. Okay, so using this line of code, as you will see, so what it essentially does is this, right? So you have the starting number, the ending number, and then the increment number. So the starting number is five and you want to increment it by five. So it's five, 10, and then 15. And so there's going to be three steps that you are going to run using this code. So in this example, we're just going to have three iterations to try. Okay, so let's run this code. Okay, so wait a little bit for this to compute. Okay, so this took us 56.62 seconds. So I'm gonna note this down. Time taken is 56.62. Okay, and we're going to run this block of code. Okay, and this took us 20.71 seconds. Time taken is 20.71. So 56.62 divided by 20.71. So this gives us also 2.7 times faster. So we can say that parallel processing is 2.7 three times faster than without. Okay, so are you wondering whether this model is still working? So let's give it a try, make a prediction with this. Okay, look at the confusion matrix, print out the performance. Okay, so it gives perfect prediction because it is the training set. Visualize the importance. Okay, here you go. And these are the importance variable. So you see that parallel processing could improve the speed of your machine learning model generation by 2.7 times on this laptop. But the improvement on your own laptop or your desktop depends on the spec. So I've also tried this on my MacBook Pro and the number of times that it is faster was approximately two times. Nevertheless, if you're using parallel processing, it will be approximately two to three times faster than without parallel processing. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.